Suriname is one of the first to have responded in this way. And so we are uh, greatly indebted to, to the government and people of Suriname. We mogen trots zijn als regering en volk dat we in staat zijn ook al eens een kleine bijdrage te leveren wanneer vrienden in nood verkeren. Het is onze traditie, Suriname heeft die traditie, om elkaar in nood te helpen, ook al heb je niet veel. I want to say a deep, heartfelt gratitude on behalf of the people of Barbuda, our sister island, where the storm really wreaked havoc. Barbuda before Irma hit, as you can see, just lovely. Uh, this is Barbuda today. Uh, the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda says that Barbuda is now barely habitable. The island's only hospital and airport were destroyed. There's no running water. And there's no phone service because the communications tower, which you see right there, just snapped in half by Irma. Well, there's, there's nothing left in, in Barbuda. Uh, nothing left. 1,000 and I think it's 23 properties that were either damaged or completely demolished. There were only four properties that were not uh, damaged significantly. It was not a very big economy, but the subsidence of the people were uh, uh, able to, to eke out fishing, a little bit of agriculture, and so on. All of that is gone now. There is no uh, power plant. The, the water purification plant is destroyed. The um, Everything, the, the cell towers, the, so there's no communication. Uh, we have to have a, we set up a rig up a, a high frequency radio, and that's what we're keeping in contact. We had a number of people go over today to look to feed the animals that are loose there, the dogs, the cats, a few horses and so on. So that is where we are now. We experienced is like something you see in a horror movie. Persons were literally running from house to house, and we had cars flying over our heads. We had containers, 40-foot containers, flying left and right. And the story is that the story that you're getting from most of the residents here is that the eye of the storm came just in time. Persons were literally tying themselves to them their roofs with um, ropes to keep them down. I must say the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela um, had already had two Hercules on standby before the storm. <clears throat> they were the first to fly in after the storm. And we had one went and picked up supplies from St. Lucia that was provided by the government of St. Lucia. The other one was used to go into Barbuda, land on a, a, a grass strip and ferry out uh, at about 50% of the population. If it were not for them, we would not have been able to move everybody in a timely manner. Because as you know, we were threatened by Hurricane Jose, which was almost as strong as Irma. So they made it possible. But in any case, we would have had to have done a mandatory evacuation because you have dead animals, a lot of stagnant water. And as a result, they, we are told by our health officials that within a few days, you could be facing an epidemic of cholera and things like that if we're not careful. So it had to be done anyway. The difference is with Jose threatening, we had a window that was closing fast and the Hercules transport really made a difference. That's a very, very, very good effort from the Venezuelan country and we really appreciate it. What you have done here is a testament to a commitment of Caribbean unity. And we are really, really humbled and, and greatly gratified for this. Uh, it is going to go a long way. It's going to assist us uh, tremendously. And we are deeply indebted and, and um, we clearly are very much, very much deeply uh, happy with this uh, relief effort. And 
Certainly, yes. as you uh, initially indicated that we just signed the uh, agreement. We have not so long ago a important overeenkomst getekend met uh, Antigua Barbuda for samenwerking. The overeenkomst biedt heel veel perspectieven voor uh, uh, landbouw, uh, ontwikkeling, voor het leveren van producten aan Antigua Barbuda en andere zaken die in de overeenkomst vastzitten. Het gaat uiteindelijk bij de overeenkomst om zaken te antameren die ten goede komt aan de respectieve bevolkingen. Dus wanneer uh, een van de landen een bevolking in nood is, dan moeten we ook in staat zijn. En moeten we ook proberen als de bevolking in nood is, um, waar het aan ons vermogen ligt om te helpen. Helaas is niet alles meegekomen, omdat uh, het is geen vrachtvliegtuig. We hebben veel meer vracht uh, dan het vliegtuig uh, kan meenemen in één keer. Maar het is een uh, regeringsaangelegenheid om te beslissen op welke wijze we de resterende goederen uh, of hier of elders uh, ter beschikking stellen. Maar dan moet de regering gewoon een besluit nemen. Het is belangrijk dat je je terug our heartfelt gratitude Thank you so much. to Thank your you. president, Thank you. uh, foreign minister, who Thank called you. me right away after Thank the storm, and the people. You have a true friend when you have a problem, and they're right there. Thank you so we much. didn't have Thank to you. ask, no. you were already there. Thank you. So that is very, very special to us, and as you said, it came from the heart, mm. and the way you've reacted it shows to me clearly that humanitarian is the word to use for what you have done for us today. Thank you so much. Thank sir. you. God bless you all. Thank you very much.